I'm also delighted to see from the Crowdcast chat that people really know this poem. <laughs> They're just like dropping all their favorite lines. <laughs> Yes, and thank you, Marie, for uh, breaking the seal on the Zoom chat, which uh, we will have to make sure and document for posterity. And I am also recording this, uh, this reading, so we'll have a, a file of it. Thank you, David. Of course. Okay. Um, that's All right, we're going to get started pretty soon. I just want to make sure Dottie's here. Dottie? I'm, I'm here. Hi, Dottie. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> you're fabulous with your background. <laughs> for, um, just because you're the one right after um, the recording of Philip Whalen, I just wanted to make sure you're here and um, we're going to get started. All right, so um, David is admitting people as they come. I just wanna say thank you to everyone for all of your patience with technology. This is the time that we're living in. Um, I really, really am so excited about this event. I'm glad that you can actually hear it and see parts of it. Um, so without further ado, I just wanna um, go over some of the things I went over before. My name is Catherine, I'm the publicist for WAVE. We're co-hosting this event with uh, City Lights and uh, we're in celebration of Phil Whalen's Scenes of Life at the Cap Capitol, edited by uh, David Brazil. Uh, so we're gonna start off this reading with a recording from uh, Philip Whalen. This uh, recording was from a reading given at the intersection in San Francisco in August, 1971. Um, then uh, continuing the reading will be uh, Dorothy Alasky, followed by Will Alexander, Anselm Berrigan, Aisha Sasha John. Then we're going to have a brief intermission while, where I'll share some of Waylon's artwork. And then Andrew Schelling will continue the reading, followed by Marie Bach, Walwen, Phil Alvarum, Norman Fisher, and David Brazil will close the reading. So without further ado, I'm going to share my screen, just bear with me. Okay. And Philip Whelan. Okay, this, this is one long poem called Scenes of Life at the Capitol. Uh, as dedicated to Allen Ginsberg. It was written between 1969 and early 71 in Kyoto. Uh, although that isn't the only capital that's being talked about. Having returned at last and being carefully seated on the floor, somebody else's floor as usual, far away across that ocean which looked through Newport windows years ago, somebody else's living room, another messed up weedy garden, tall, floppy, improbably red flowers, all the leaves turned over in the rain, rich, furry scrotum vein. Edges glisten, tile roof, tin roof, telephone pole, decoratively tormented black pine, slowly repeating its careful program, endlessly regretting, but here is original, done once, not to be reproduced, nor electronically remembered. Who's enough? Festoon. An enormous drop of pure water, suddenly there, right in the center of preceding page. Nothing can be done about that. The line was ruined. Okay. Felt hair. A bend is funnier. Bar Kokhba. Do something about it, like animal factory mayhem. The master said, you shouldn't have put yourself into such a position in the first place. Nevertheless, it all looks different, right to left. Another master said, well, you can always take more, you know. <clears throat> the wind went by just now, South Dakota. Who's responsible for this absurd revival of the Byzantine Empire, Sioux Falls, Mitchell, Yankton area? Further anomalies of this order will receive such punishment as a court-martial may direct. 
or the discretion of the company's commander. Failure to conform with these regulations shall be punished by court martial. Take all you want, but eat all you take. The following named enlisted men are trans. Special order number 21, this HQ, dated 8 February 1946, contains six paragraph censors. Three, follow it. E following list men, white MCO indicated, ASRS indicated, AF2, AF are released from assignment and duty this headquarters and transferred in grade to 37th AAF TU, Georgia Field, Laos, at Tibet. And with pay at such time as will enable them to arrive there at not later than 5 February 1946, reporting to commanding officer for duty censor. Or such punishment as the court martial may direct. I used to travel that way. <laughs> Always take a little bit more. This is called a controlled habit. Don't look at me, I never said a murmuring word. Didn't you say polished water? I normally wouldn't say so. Wasp in the Bookshelf rejects Walt Whitman, Herman Melville, Emily Dickinson, the Goliard Poets, a Vedic Reader, Lama Govinda, Medieval French Verses and Romances, Long Discourses of the Buddha, and the Principal Upanishad. Window Glass reads more entertainingly. But soon that too is left for the foxtail grass, camellia hedge, the dull mid-morning sun, followed by accidental descent into goofball drift, unintentionally. But such is the cost of knowledge. Recollections of Jack in Berkeley, Nembies and grass and wine, geraniums, ripe apricots and plums, Cleo's green and slanting eyes, and gentle smile with pointed face. How much love I owe to her and to all women. My mother tried to warn me, let your sister ride the bike a while. Don't be so damn selfish. How can Victorian American lady explain to her son that his cock doesn't belong exclusively to himself, but also to certain future women? It's a matter of some reassurance that we are physically indistinguishable from other men when introspection shows us that we have different degrees of intelligence and varying capacities for knowing morality, we lose something of our complacency. Rudy too, Rudy too, we're the boys from the Institute. I wondered recently what school was being lampooned in this impudent snatch of grade school melody, recollection of obscene and early childhood. If Socrates and Plato and Diotima and all the rest of the folks at that party had simply eaten lots of food and wine and dope and spent the entire weekend in bed together, perhaps Western civilization wouldn't have been such failures. <laughs> Rudy Toot, Plato's original institute. <laughs> Much of the morning sweeping consists of clearing away bodies of several hundred insects who followed my light globes and perished here. After 49 days, each one of them will be reborn, each in a different shape in a different world, each according to the quality of his actions in all his past existences. <laughs> what a system. Hiding <laughs> home, Rudy Toot Toot. Normally I wouldn't say no, Rudy Toot is what any bugle, horn, or trumpet is thought of as saying, the sound of a fart. Years later, I found the trumpeting devils in the inferno mush. All dropped untidy into the bottom of my skull. A warped red plastic phonograph record, the label says Emperor Concerto, floats on top, inaudible. Nevertheless, light comes through it in a pleasant way, precisely the color of raspberry licorice whips. It got bent in the mail, too near the steam pipes. The music is in there someplace, squeezed into plastic at enormous expense of knowledge. Fire in the forego. Lukewarm mush. Then cold milk poured over it, chills and transforms the entire arrangement gradually, tending toward an ineradicable, non-biodegradable plastic resembling bake light, shiny brown. It shatters if you drop it hard. Changed again, turned 180 degrees in an unexpected direction. Bent Beethoven, burnt Niall. I have lived all these years until this moment without understanding there's absolutely nothing which I can do well. <laughs> Ring bell three times. <laughs> Nothing! Hardy har. What do you mean, hardy har? Nothing, just hardy har. I might have said hidey ho. <laughs> Almighty nothing. How does the wicked girl begin? Quote, then all proceeded from the great united. What? Quote, and from thy fruitful emptiness's hands snatched men, beasts, birds, fire, water, air, and land. Unquote. John Wilmot, Earl of Rochester. The 
Parenthesized water is presented to us on good authority by the editor, Vivian Gisola Pinto. I found my mother's name written there 300 years ago. I don't know whether we can or not. Hee hee, let's try. Walk, bite. I don't know nothing about it. There are two long bearded, apprehensive gremlins, one beside each of my ears. The left hand one very gently whispers, Hello? And listens for a reply from the other side. <laughs> he repeats, Hello? Very softly. Are you still there? And the right hand one, listening and nodding, his own ear turned toward that furry, dark, pink and lavender cake. Presently, he replies, also very softly, Hello! <laughs> Across the blank, echoing, empty dark between. <laughs> I think I'll go take a bath. Well, well, come on, who is it if it isn't gremlins? Some other of those revolting British creations for children subject of PhD theses in American universities. <laughs> Big eyes, charm, lots of fur all over, stage set by Arthur Rackham. I'm really going to take a bath now. I split wood, the gift of the landlord, while water splooshes into iron pots and make fire underneath. Bless these elements. Their nature and use connect me to this place, the capital, its history. Temple bell rings, no self, no permanence. Fiery waters all around. The iron bathtub is history. Its name, Goemon Buro. A going on bath, he was a highway robber, caught at last and cooked to death in a pot of boiling oil on the bank of the Kamo River. Unveiling and elevation of the weenie, ring gong three times. <laughs> Kyoto, October 2nd, 1969, a graceful poem in fond and grateful memory of Mr. W.S. All Happiness. Outline of Iezon, almost invisible behind the hedge, not my hedge, but the one at Daitokuji Hojo. Tamo River, uniform white lines pouring down solidly molded over stone barrage. Foam across great fitted paving blocks, the Dow, its man-made bed, rowdy Dow. Beyond the thick, beyond the foam, thick purple from dye vats along Hakano River. Shaved, green shaved patch on dark mountainside, Dai Monji, which we saw as a pattern of fire from Arashiyama Bridge. Paper lanterns floating in the river Oi, Souls returning to the flowery shore. The winds, angelic face, puffing. Happy Wallace Stevens' birthday. Heavenly Baroque paradise where he sailed. Far new haven of the shore. The rubic winds flap his coronation robe. Dash silver on his golden harp and starry brow. An extravagant pandelian heaven. Lavender wings of peacock feather eyes. All memory enamel. Mr. Yates, a little jealous. Hearts of omnipotent power, oh ho, omnipotent power, oh ho, oh, joy divine. Gregory Corso imitating Peter Ustino of Nero movie. <laughs> Too busy to see anybody in New York. A few French paintings, shoe shine, new tweed, English pants, two pounds of real camembert cheese. Who is there to see in New York anyway? Everybody's moved to the I dreamed, I dreamed last night of Marco Dos. And so home again, among Rose's arcades of Philadelphia, the past, a piece of Idaho's scenic agate, a crystal ball of Hartford in a purple light, and supper on an ordinary evening in New Haven, where you never live, but always heaven, along with Stefan Mallarmé and all the marble swans. I keep thinking about all the really great ones to paraphrase Mr. Spender. I think like anybody living in a foreign country of home and money, there's probably some sensible human way of living in America without being rich or drunk or taking dope all the time. Fred, is that music? Do I shake or weep? Three colon X colon 69, Thomas Wolfe's birthday. He'd say, okay, and we'd start in, and every time I'd presently find myself going involuntarily, ulk, 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 which seemed to inspire him to even wilder extravagances. Fred, is that music? Do I fake or leap? To my horror and chagrin, I see that I've suppressed lots of goody in the process of copying from manuscript to typewriter. Mike warned me years ago, you should always make them reproduce your handwritten pages, overlap, overleaf clover, 
I said, rowdy dow, picture of leaves, poo. Beyond the foam, thick purple, Ticano River dye vats. There's not a way in the world I can explain that to you. You just have to get in and start of doing it yourself. Green shaped patch, right half of the big Damanji. Every place is the same because I felt the same, remembering everything. We boated for hours on the Lake of Continents when swimming in the blue grotto, ate sheep's eyes and chicken guts in Crete. The blue tiles of Ishafan were better or worse than the blue tiles around the late Mr. His swimming pool in St. Simon and the man from Inturis at Talipsi who so much resembled him. Everything being the same, everything is naturally different. Here in the Shinchido coffee shop again, that blonde young lady who just disappeared into and so swiftly reappeared out of the Benyo was not that funny girl who used to write for Newsweek, but may as well have been. Right this minute, asleep in London, Sydney, or Tashkent. Three new little trees just beyond north end of Goldfish Pond I peer among the branches in search of the blonde who now sits inside. I am an arbor outside, the number of goldfish seven or nine. One is the color of polished metal. That girl's hair is a paler shade. Streetcar fills the window one and a half seconds. The hard chairs and benches here, big tables probably not like the ones in Reed College Library, Bits of psychic imperialism. I attach tags, carve initials, pee on fire plugs, outlining my territory. Is that blonde still there? Sort of ecru colored mini dress, thin cloth, heavy coat, thick pale hair, untidy braid, half undone behind, small pointy nose, chin recedes a little. There's no point in returning until I find out. Why did I have to come all the way back here, endless belt of punch card travelers through the neighbor's loam, repetition of a pattern from a long time back? Here's one who eats a hard boiled egg, rolls, hot milk, and a picture magazine. His friend's weak eyes read a little book. German metaphysics translated into literary Japanese, vague to vague. Two giant galaxies passing through and beyond each other. A radio receiver on a planet several thousand light years off might well tune in on a stupendous music. Who ring and see Carl Heinz Stockhausen. Chance for star. When you get to the end, stop. Bill who is drunk and yelling in front of Sanho Station, end of the Taikato Road, Kamigawa sluicing fast under Sahu Bridge, the wooden posts and railings shown by Hakusai, guard the asphalt concrete way. Why don't you take a walk? A way of living in America doesn't really invite a narrow pen point clink. Under the penthouse lid, they eye the milky forehead. Yakano Bay, Yakuts, Neptune Park, Tilly the whale flashes past just north or south of Yakas. I can imagine living there as my grandmother did, gathering wild blackberries, driving out towards Gresham for a mess of green corn, time for melons, grapes, and Chinook salmon at the Dollies, dig mud clams at Nettarts Bay, family all over the place, friends from the old Kilpatrick Hotel, bring blackberry jam, fresh string beans, and salmon. She wanted her hotel in winter, good steam heat, parties and dances, the lonesome club, cotillion ballroom, earliest spring flowers and pussy willows, green slime and moss and mud evergreen and ferns, smell of woman, beyond enormous plate glass windows, the Studebaker black sedan, all this lost again, Gommed up for fair. Where, where's the minute particulars? What was I thinking of? I keep thinking of those really great ones like Confucius. What am I supposed to do? Become rich and famous? 
People keep introducing me to the famous English poet. We have been introduced to each other once every 10 years for a very long time. He has no reason to remember meeting me since the conversation is limited to how do you do? And he's considerably taller than I am. I think all the time I can't forgive him for jabbing that nick sound against the initial C, nor for the blackmail word truly. I can't stop thinking about, I keep thinking all the time about those absolutely splendid that isn't so sharp either. Well, somewhere there's an exact and absolutely wild poetical equivalent to Mr. X's most often quoted line, and if he had found it and used it, I should have swooned with awe and pleasure when I was first introduced to him, and afterwards we might have been able to talk together. Fred, is that music? Do I shape or weak? Did you fall or was you pushed? Did I run? and was I tired? Years gone by, 12 years agone, I must have had about me then some final faded blink of beauty. Fred asked me to marry him. He would be 21 fairly soon. I never had a greater compliment. It's too bad we are sexually incompatible. He's the only one who ever asked me, no matter how odd the fancy I remember him, happily at the entrance to old age. I haven't been a total failure after all. Paul Gauguin went someplace there was light enough to see and it made him a painter. N. Hawthorne to Italy, H. Melville to the Southern Sea, beyond the neighborhood of Christian gentlefolk. Fred, is that music that I fake or leap? Lion face Paul Gauguin, fingers and toes, cock and nose all slothing gradually away. Leprosy melted him northern snowman, disadvantages of a lovely climate, white men go to pieces in the tropics. I can't stop thinking about those who really knew what they were doing. Paul Gauguin, John Wieners, Leroy Jones. I keep thinking of those great ones who never fled the music. Fred and his roommate with bottled hair, all of them yarded off to Vietnam, translated into rugged American fighting men, defending the free world against godless, atheistic communism. I am a US Marine. I like to fuck and I like to fight. What's it gonna be? Which makes it impossible to like the Iliad, sadistic faggotry too much like Paris Island, the Green Berets and the cops back home, somebody else's castration fantasies acted out. In an ideal climate, but why should the world be different? Why should it continue in its present <coughs> nasty way? And it changes every nanosecond, lovely, dreadful, smashed, dismembered, and devoured by Priyana. Events like the Indochina War, final quivers and tremblings, neural flashes and freshly killed men, movie of Bonnie and Clyde. The longer I think about it, the more I doubt that there is such a thing as Western civilization, a Puritan commercial culture was transplanted from Europe to USA in the 17th century. American Indians were a civilized people. I can remember when LA had an ideal climate. Everybody wants complete privacy in the Hollywood Hills for $35 a month, the real estate lady told CLT. She wore this big merit Marion Mon Mary Marion Moore garden party hat, rocky face, petrified, slap, petrified lap dog. You don't want to live over there, honey. There's dark clouds in that neighborhood. C and Shirley escaped to Europe and New Mexico. Bottom of my water glass, pentagonal crystal. The light changes passing through bit by glass into color. And we are a rainbow, no matter how we love or hate it. We are beautiful, red and black and yellow and brown and white. Maybe a few Swedes or Finns or green in the winter time, if they get cold enough. How can we? 
few miraculously beautiful colors which betray our true nature, which is love and wisdom, compassion and enlightenment. Six times three is 18. And Taka Gamaini, tiny old lady, turns towards the Jiso shrine across the street. A short prayer, umbrella in one hand, the other held up before her gasso, and then bowed very slowly. She really meant it. First hand and neck, and then the waist very slowly down and back again. Jisoo Sama certainly must have felt obliged to attend immediately and in person to that lady's children and departed relatives. Being Jisoo Sama, he has exactly time and energy and compassion enough to do exactly that right now. Can this be straight description or observation? without intending to embarrass or attack anybody, without waving my arms and yelling? Does Mr. Gauguin's palette go towards a muddiness, even the tropical pictures are faintly grayed, fluorescent lights in gallery, Kyoto Municipal Museum, vanish, going bad, or the pigments themselves breaking down? Look again, fish pot looks clean. Fish are newly polished. Frog child's baby sister has come to ride the tricycle. Orange teddy bear strapped to her back. Same way her mother carries her. The papa comes to pound a large flat shoe on fish pond rim. Fish whirl round and fit. Then he scatters crumbs on water goldfish seed. There's a wonderful kind of writing which is never written now about this moment. It is always done later and redone until it's perfect. Praying mantis more to the top of a flower stalk, groomed itself like a canary, preened two tail feathers. I wonder whether were once were was subject to fits of feeble mindedness, or simply had a low opinion of his readers. Bigger mantis upside down on a glass door. Who else has a face like that? Hammered shark, another cannibal. Strong mothball smell emanates from English poetry and prose after the death of William Blake, or a little before it is detectable in Keats, Shelley, Byron, mothballs and flannel, smell of established church, industrialism, and empire building. Same wiggery rules us now. I've got to go sort out my guts. What have you been doing these days? Just sorting out my guts, disentangling and recalling them neatly back in place. The same operation must be performed upon the telephone cord every now and again. Jemon V. Ale Toje, in memory of Kaba Diashi, Free Market Day. I greet you from the very top of the page. A single branch of stove wheat smolders under the bathtub. The brand of Malika, still high but able to cook, eat, write, make fish, make bath, sweat. They ring the bell again. I hope all sentient beings attain complete, perfect, final enlightenment, which is exactly who I am or not all my greasy little fingers coffee break time down to the at the emergency factory early in the war before we all got uniform shot but now you are trying to confuse me 
about by having eyes shut. My name is John C. M. DePew, and it is November 11th, 1910. What do you think of that, eh? Stop it, I say. Stop this trumpery, mockery, mockery, trumpery, pink Chanel fuzz elephant, baby mockery, trumpery, trumpery, mockery, mockery, freely monger, bundle, our main difficulty, fear and distrust of freedom. We think it must be carefully measured, weighed and doled out in discrete quantities responsible parties of good character and high social standing, people with lots of money, which is evidence of their reliability and moral clarity. Liberty in hands and other hands is license. Difficulties compounded by idea of consent and theory of delegated powers hire specialists to run everything. But the powers they derive from us relieve these governors of all responsibility, somehow become vast personal wealth. Fortunes must be protracted, protected from license and the violence of the mob. We find our freedom diminished, King Lear. Delegation, a license for the abuse of power. Say, just what are you saying or trying to prove anyway? What do I care about proving anything? Only bus chains and shackles that we may slip anchor all ask away to the making of paradise. Where now are only fraudulent states Paint factories, lies and stinks and wars. One kid put it clear as may be. I want America to be magic electrical to death. Or can Zanji, for example, a little northwest of the capital, absolutely defenseless, Abbott's house on pointed mountain, Top delicate walls, multitudes of people drifting through it, footless ghosts, no fingers, empty parkas, the billows of smoke, burnt and burning leaves, the silence, unbroken purity existing in the world. Touch down and patience, leaf jewels, rage, brilliant silence, cold flames. Fudumi yo yo, carved fire, sculpted flames, world net wall, momentary bird's heads, eyes, beaks, all world crimson ray, beams, in yellow street. He isn't in the fire he's made of. The light, cool, zap energy, sword, the gentle hat of lotus flower. Big square feet on solid rocks. Toko, Taka, Oyama. As I look at them, they must see me flaming, all absurd. Film of mistaken properties. Culture of dim Oregon farmhouse to burn, to dispose of instantly. It is what is real can be created or destroyed. Clouds move above maples, change colors, we walk beneath. Colored spaces mean something else. Where in all this light and elegant disorder? Walk down, walk on down, Kirotaki River, canyon from Chingoji, missed the trail, found confluence of Kiyotaki and Hosu rivers, smooth gray green cliffs of single rock, heavy green water, no way back to the capital, except by boat, forge in raging maple colors, over dragon rocks of dream, late extravagant launch, Arashima, Shiyama, Hurricane Bridge, a 
just reread a little of the prelude to which I could only reply, you poor fish. God knows the spell fell. God shunk him. Let's go visit the tomb of Emperor Murakami. Look at autumn leaves, but there light rain starts falling. I had hoped to visit Big Rock on the hillside. Also, but came back home. I want my umbrella. I want lunch. Rain. Serious wet rain. Discovered the tomb of Coco Tenno between the parkway and the trolley track due south of Noodle Shop. Raised a filial duty. Who ordered the Nanjahi to be and the next emperor was first abbot there. Udo Tenno is Miraji Baroji Palace. Here come the maidens dancing. That song they're singing, that song which you shall be listening is called the Song of the Panical Humility. In the Chinese classical mode, in America, we've been fighting each other 100 years. We're, we pretend we're unimaginably rich, but we are poor and afraid of the poor who must become the army to defend us against right and wrong, all automatic and impersonal. The law is the government. She'll take all your money and kill you. Being completely free and entirely impartially just, Edgar Allan Poe saw the wall of Plato's cave slowly moving in which to crush us. Who licks up the juice that runs out at the bottom? The real shame of America is the lack of an anti-clerical movement or party. All parties try to compound with an invisible state Protestant church that theoretically doesn't exist. Groups who think of themselves as members in good standing are built and robbed. I got to buy me them eggs. Thirty more shopping days until Christmas. Again and again, the flames of his inordinate passion licked my naked flesh again. 29 more shopping days until Christmas. Rolled right over until I was over the top of him. Did you ever hear of such a thing? I said, Wilbur, what on earth are you trying to do? And he was wiggling and shaking and squeezing and panting and saying all them things over again like he was going crazy until I didn't know whether to send for the doctor or the fire department, but he stopped all of a sudden. You know how they do and that nasty old stuff all over everything. I tell you, if I had to do it over again, I'd never get married, and Wilbur is my third husband. 28 more shopping days before the feast of the nativity. Then he turns right around and wants to do it again while I said, listen, you old goat, I've got to get some rest. I've got to go shopping tomorrow, whether you go to work or not. 27 more shopping days until Christmas. Fred, is that music? Ah, no, my foolish darling. It is only the roaring of the aged chilling blood. Sluggishly perambulating your brittle veins, you forgot your blood pressure pills again, too busy to go out. They brought you three dead sandwiches upon a tray and coffee, tepid black forbidden coffee on a tray and you lost your temper on the telephone, and now it echoes in your hollow, empty, wooden head. I'm not afraid of you. You're nothing but an incubus. 26 greater and larger shopping days before Christmas. So you're a poet, hey? Well, if you're a poet, tell me a poem. Come on, tell me one. Are you a published poet? Do you know Nick Chrome? One fine day, A.G. was mad at me and said, you're going to be a little old man who smells of kerosene and sits in the public library every day reading Pliny. Awake at quarter past 3 a.m., strange wooden clock sound. 
Later find fallen mid mud plaster chunk in Tokonoma. Puddle of pee with one long black hair in a corner of Benjo floor. Gloomy gold morning, 10 a.m. in just giant lump of bang with strawberry jam from Bulgaria. Friendly socialist country. Hot coffee. Things will seem better half an hour from now. Okay? Shut up. What's the use of having a cold if nobody cares? Why not simply do something else? An absolute mystery. How to stop and begin differently. Don't be a ninny, Dr. Culpepper. All surgery is radical. Hand me that there giggly saw. Yes, yes, it all connects. Have no fear. We can take a tuck in the membrane if necessary. Try to develop a little more dexterity. Have you tried practicing the piano or the guitar? Us brain surgeons got to show a little culture. Quit banging my elbow, nurse. Fifty years fighting the Bolsheviki. To maintain a 500% profit on every waffle iron and locomotive. At 499% times are growing difficult. We must try to retrench. At 497.5% lay off some of the newer employees. The market looks bearish at 496%. Sell out while there's still a chance in order to boost profits back to 498%. A presence appears in Cambodia. When did the dumb bunny bomb first hit USA? How come everybody appreciated it so much? The bad news incubus service. I'm going to get well right away. I'm going to be just fine, the old man said. Then his eyes rolled up and his breath stopped and there he lay dead as a flounder. Lost again yesterday, walking towards Arashiyama. Inconveniently, lunchtime. Several villages. Tomb of the Emperor Uda. Deserted superhighway to Western Hills. I thought of asking somebody, this the road to China? I really knew where I was. I'd been to those mountains. The empty freeway bored and frightened me. Broken highway to a pretty place where I bought expensive noodles. Well, it opened up a space. I could see the distance for a change. Breathe. Did I miss nine trillion cars? Want them to be on this road with me? At home, the vegetable supply. A Dutch still life set on reverse lid of nab. Half a red carrot, half a giant radish, half a head of hokusai, a completely monumental potato. China will sail across big zen soup to me. The bad news incubus service. They peer down through my ceiling. Poor old man, he's too fat to live much longer. Which part of this bothers me most? Insincerity? indifference or the fraudulent ceiling voices out of the air the bleak and windy white skull attic flat white for lots of light hollow wooden head son of a bitch homer Matson used to say i keep trying to remember that this is my life now what i've got what i actively chose pine tree stone lanterns outside the mason's house imperial tomb Camellia hedge monkey slide tree, and the responsibility for learning two languages, which I evade, and dim insistences of two others in the background, Sanskrit and Tibetan. Awk. Why did I laugh tonight? No voice. At the foot of the stone wall, Fukuoji Jinsha, somebody took leave of her shoes. There they are, red. Strangely enough, I find that I'm all right. Nothing's really wrong with me. There's food. Payday will be Thursday. The pleasure of looking at a tiny mountain of low-grade amethyst, almost the color of gas flame cooking buckwheat noodles. Kerosene is on the way. The cold weather is neither monster nor a prodigy. I seem to survive it vitamin C. In spite of paranoia, vitamin B complex shortages. In winter, the air is cold as it is hot in summer. But I never can understand the idea. 
all too soon I must leave these beauties and come away to heaven's boring towers of golden flapping. Snowy wings and halo bright star crown, no more to see your sexy frown and freckles. I can't find my mirror. I can't find my things. So that when you've at last arrived there too, shall we bleak and holy strangers distant forgiving nod and smile? But soon you'll be asking me, how do I look? Is my halo all right? I know my wings are all slaunchwise along the trailing edge. Preen, preen. I wish I had my mirror, kids. I wish I had all my things, oh well. I don't care, please hold me. I want you to hang on to me a while. Torn paper fake mountains become three-dimensional. Transparent crystals, bushes and trees, all barbered and shaved plaques of tourmaline, emerald. They used to tell me I must apply myself, work hard and don't be lazy. But what I must learn is to accomplish everything, which has nothing to do with work. Work is what an instrument or engine does. We say a crystal changes white light to green, breaks light in the rainbow, scatters it, focuses the burning point. The crystal does nothing. Its shape and structure make all the difference. Think of transistors and lasers. In order to make this day great, yesterday must be altered. Rain, I must wear overcoat muffler and bamboo umbrella. Thinking of monkey tribes on Hiazan and Iwatayama. Wet and freezing, I hope they're finding food. Lovely bronze green fur, defenseless eyes. They run if you stare at them. Fixed gaze prepares for pounce crunch fangs of death. All monkeys everywhere look worried all the time. Eyes and faces. Oh, God, what next? Me? Lots of instructions wasted. Go downtown and argue with the bank. Fall as leap. Fred. Fred. Yesterday afternoon, they said, they'd pay in the morning. This morning, they say, they'll pay in the afternoon. Raving hot sunshine two days before Christmas. Baffle mute. And so to Osaka. Beguile me with all them blandishments again. Curses. The hotel falls, the false hotel. Enter one in the character of a false hotel. He speaks. Malamute. Bezor. Tremendulate. Faction. Cookerbite, Pantages, Trash Mule, Finger. A man in a black suit stands at the entrance to the tomb of the Emperor Enyu, catty corner from my front door. He bellows like a bull at irregular intervals. A man steps out the front door of his house, he says in French. Again, the same thing. Radio gives me German actors performing Faust. I'm reminded of Hudibras, the triumph of commercial middle class, chanted in paltry quatrains. Toujours la même chose, a little chocolate tomb for a dead maraschino cherry. Coffee shop, sugar bowl, <clears throat> another compromise. Picture of childish French sailor, English inscription, sans serif letters, anchor the way. A lisping matelon, encore the way, encore voner, leaps and bounds, ponders numbers to confine, limit the flower. A measured compromise. I didn't get her cherry, but I got the box it came in. The flower goes beyond the edge of its petals. The poem runs past the edge of the paper. Teeth I don't have any more hurt me today. Today I started late and quit early and accomplished everything, but the next day was marred by fits of rage, mental confusion, lapses of memory. Was it working? We can hear you. You can hear me? Okay. Yep, we're good. 
Um, Olson dead in New York, Jack dead in Florida. Today I'm going to take more. Smoked some and ate some. Oh, ah, hum, in five sacred colors. I woke up a couple of times during the night, high with lights and music behind the eyes. This morning I am cured and know who and where I'm at. Why should I go to Europe to look at several million nervous white folks? My very own relatives, there they are, totally uncivilized, fingering and puzzling over the ruins of Western civilization. I feel closer to that culture which our ancestors destroyed. Megalithic builders initiated in mushroom mysteries at Crete, Eleusis, New Grange. In this capital, we also fumble with ruins of high culture, but feelings of antique propriety keep heavy sway over family, marriage, feudal obligations to a chief. The life of the capital goes by in tight pants or on horseback, brilliant sick silk hakama, brocade karajinu, gleaming lacquer hat. Summer's dead leaves philandering into dusty moss like melting Dracula. Philandering, mot imaginaire de l'auteur. The soul extractors are here. Edward W. Tomsick of Lima, Ohio, will now attempt to drive a 35-ton caterpillar tractor through two inches of boiling water from which he will escape absolutely unharmed. Oops. Rupert Scanlon of Great Falls, Montana will now. The world and I barge past the sun. Glass on stove's fuel gauge reflects the sun onto north wall 20 feet away. The passage of time, the zooming of the earth can be witnessed as a disk of light sliding over dots of mud plaster sand other goop embedded in the surface. Daitukuju celebration day still echoes in my head. Sound of manhole cover falling flat on stone floor, the rainy maples at Koto Inn. Last night, wild boar for supper. Shakuhachi music over snowy torrent. Botan Nabe, Pioni Kasole. So far, the capital, the road is only paved. So far north of the capital, the road is only paved. When it becomes five seconds, Mountain Village Main Street among Suji trees, ordinary dirt in the canyons, but the pe people speak Kyoto Ben, Botan Garden of Dayutukuji Mo Monastery. Manhole cover, clang and crash, big pair of cymbals, thin brass with center bowl, broad rimmed soup dishes. Flash. Everybody dolled up in brocade bib and tucker, Chinese can canal boat shoes, nootka shaman hats. To exceed wisdom and ignorance, escape skull change. Chain. Juzu beads I saw today, each bead a white bone, apparently impossible, although there's enough space between bone crystals to drive a truck through. There's not an owl in the world who thinks or knows I am an owl. Not one who knows there's a man called Slotkin who knows more about owls and the owl trade than any owl. I wonder though, can Professor Dr. Slotkin eat mice and fly? Kyoto, 6 p.m. news. Somebody left a pistol and a raincoat in a taxi on Higashiyama, Eastern Mountain Road. New York Buddha law. All sentient beings will be brought to complete final perfect enlightenment. If you will write a letter to the New York Times condemning ignorance, desire, and attachment. Almost all American aged four to 100 have the spiritual natures of Chicago policemen. Scratching an American, scratch an American and find a cop. There is no generation gap. I sit in the north room, look out across the floor into the garden, 12 and a half tatami mats, the pleasure of contemplating them, 
They are beautiful and they aren't mine. Present appearance of quiet, neutral emptiness. Books, music, pictures, letters, jewels, machines, Buddha statues and other junk all hidden away as if inside my head, think of the closets as memory banks, wooden ceilings, pale orange, floors the color of wheat straw, light gray paper, colored mountains near the bottom cover the fusuma that divide rooms, hide closets. Glass and white paper, soji screens, two garden ends of the house, north and south. Heavy floral designs of Michoacan. Have you ever con considered going there to live? Oh, flowers more lovely than wine, Adonis and or Dionysius. Only one note and it was a flat one, only a rose for you. That was a long time ago. Unique abyss. I'll go along with a smile and a song for anyone. All this was copyrighted maybe 1911. Only a rose for you. So long ago, I was a prisoner still and other people made everything happen, good, bad, and indifferent. Control yourself, they said, to survive continuous neural bombardment, meningeal bubbles 20 years after. Now I make things happen. These thin brass domes and birds of ice, cheap fruity cries pop. There's your tricycle from Jimmy Bruton's movie, Mother's Day. Tricycle from the Isle of Man, three legs running. The Shinto emblem showing three comma-shaped figures in a whirl symbolizes the triad of the dynamic movements of Musubi, Jean Herbert, Athenian abyss, Tarkin old stairs, off the steep edge of town, Delphi something else. A friend writes from Eleusis, nothing here but a vacant lot factories in the distance, those caves of ice, large comma. Ja, Mr. C. Olson used to say, so the word had a big walrus mush, mustache laden with fresh beer foam. Flowers have great medicinal virtue. I decide not to go to town until Wednesday, buy time to read at Asahi Beer Hall, not to have to teach I just now caught bright future glimpse of myself on Wednesday. Long green coat, orange beard, glasses completely distracted by trauma of trying to talk Japanese to the waitress. Out of patience, out of breath, wrestling to break, strong wool British overcoat, overcoat stranglehold, flowers and vegetables. Maybe they will change my mind. The light is different because it's a different season. Oh, dumb in New York. Usual garden, uniform, green moss of pleasure. In spring, unexpected crocus and lily and, to and tulip crash through it. Surprising shapes and colors. Western civilization, rigid and tyrannical, but it also teaches necessity for objective imagination of the organization and also provides all kinds of suggestions how to alter the works. Mr. Karl Marx wrote a book all by his lonesome in the British Museum. Shh. I've read The Trial and Death of Socrates lots of times. When it hits me right, I can cry. Other days I wonder why it took the government so long to catch up with him. Nothing happened to Plato. There he sits, writing. Homer and the classics burnt at a pot of Madox. Confucius enjoyed a vogue as originator of jokey sayings, 1939, 30, 4, 7.55 a.m., unknown quantity and quality LSD, 7.21 p.m., head full of million watt light hangs from the ceiling, old China dome newly uncovered, dirty but thin, hard and shiny, far away midge on quiet tatami. Many amperes and microwatts weeded the garden, picked it up by one end and shook it like the dog's dirty blanket. Flooch, flooch. 
and resettled it softly down over the shrubs and bugs, lots of discoveries underneath, all miraculous and alive. The capital more than usually full of foreigners, Expo 70, Osaka, Americans at first imagine Japan as extension of Cincinnati suburbs, amazed and outraged to find everything here in careful and complete control of people who don't speak English, occupied somewhat aggressively with being very Japanese. That is the funny man's house over there. That's where the funny man lives. Keep away. Hair, 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 hair. Thank you, Aisha. We're going to take a five minute intermission and I'm going to share some of Waylon's artwork with you. This is just a chance for you to get up, stretch your legs, and then we'll continue the reading. Thank you. <laughs> 